Hi everyone, this is group 14 and our presentation is on screening for cervical cancer for women ages 18 to 23. Our target behavior is to increase pap tests among young females ages 18 to 23. HPV often shows no signs or symptoms, so it's very necessary for women to get these tests in order to check for cervical cancer or cervical HPV. These screenings lead to the removal of precancerous cells, which prevents cervical cancer 95% of the time. Regular pap smears are still very necessary if you've gotten the HPV vaccine or are not sexually active because this vaccine does not protect against all types of HPV, which makes pap smears necessary screening for young women to implement into their healthcare exams. Our target audience is women 18 to 23 years old at San Diego State University. It's actually extremely uncommon for women ages 18 to 23 to develop cervical cancer, but by encouraging young women to implement pap smears into their healthcare routines, cervical cancer rates have declined by 50% since the 1970s. According to the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, more than 80% of sexually active women will become infected by at least one strain of HIV throughout their entire life. After interviewing five female SDSU students between the ages of 18 and 23 on their first pap smear experiences, 80% of women do not speak positively towards their feelings prior to the examination. For our primary audience, we have chosen young females on San Diego State University's campus ages 18 to 23 years old. We have chosen this population because many women in this age range are sexually active and need to make sure they do not have HPV. Our secondary audience are parents, significant others, and friends of people in our primary audience. We have chosen this demographic because many of these individuals care about the well-being of the primary audience and want to make sure they're living happy and healthy lives. For our first piece, we interviewed five anonymous individuals and shared a sentence that sums up their first pap smear experiences on Planned Parenthood Generation Action's Instagram page. Our caption reads, did you know that it is recommended that people with cervixes age 21 and older implement pap smears into their healthcare routines every three years? Pap smears can be completed with your healthcare provider, Planned Parenthood, or even student health services on campus. We decided to pick gender neutral fonts and images in order to appeal to a wider audience. Our message was for our target audience to implement pap smears into their healthcare routines once they reach the age of 21, and also to ensure the audience that pap smear exams are nothing to worry about through the usage of our hashtag don't fear a pap smear, along with five reassuring accounts of pap smear experiences. We use the channel Instagram because studies have shown that Instagram is used by a lot of young people, especially females, so it was just in a line with our target audience. We received 25 likes, one comment, and two saves, so overall the content was successful. We decided to use Planned Parenthood Generation Action's Instagram page for our channel because their audience aligned perfectly with our target audience. The majority of the audience is female aged 18 to 24 and lives in San Diego. For our second message, we are going to use a flyer to inform women that pap smears are the only way to test for cervical cancer and cervical HPV. At the bottom of the flyer, we've included where to get checked and the phone number as well. For our channel, we are going to use Blackboard since many students and faculty at San Diego State University have access to this, and our source is professors. Our choice of ELM is to use both peripheral and central route to persuade the audience. The peripheral route is being used so that when the audience comes across this campaign, they know it's about reproductive health. The central persuasion route will be to attract women to go to their nearest clinic, to call their provider, or simply take the time to get their reproductive health checked. The resources we will provide is information like the phone number, the address, the website, and the nearest location, for example, SDSU Health Services, the nearest Planned Parenthood Clinic to SDSU, the Family Health Centers of San Diego, Women's Healthcare in San Diego, and UCSD Women's Healthcare. This is Susana Castillo, a San Diego, California resident. She is a 20-year-old female and a third-year student at San Diego State University. Susanna hopes to become the next well-known female geologist by studying geological science and chemistry. She works part-time on campus at a research lab that works with her busy hours. On her free time from studying and working in her research lab, she likes to spend time watching documentaries on Netflix, Vines, and being with family and friends. Since Susanna has an extremely busy life, she struggles to take a self-care day in her health. She is worried because she found out that in the next year, she would need a pap smear and realizes that next year would be a busy academic year for her. She needed to know a place to get tests done 
but that would not take so much time off her busy schedule. Susanna hopes that it's not something that she needs to commit to every day. When logging in her Blackbird account, Susanna sees our announcement with the PSA. After viewing our, our PSA, she would click on the ad and not only find out that she can get a test on campus, but she found out it is only necessary to be screened after three years from the first screening. She came to an understanding that her health comes first, and if the resources are close by, like the ones at SCSU, she would commit to getting a regular pap smear. This is Carolina Ortiz, a 40-year-old single mother who works full-time as a public health data analyst for Planned Parenthood. Carolina lives in Los Angeles, California, and enjoys her soap operas, taking walks in the morning, going on Instagram to catch up with reproductive justice news, and making an effort to call her daughter at least three times a week. She is a very involved and caring mother, so involved that she follows the Planned Parenthood Generation Action of SDSU Instagram page and hopes to have her daughter get involved with the organization. One day, Carolina sees an Instagram notification on her phone from the PPGA of SDSU. She opens the app and sees the hashtag, don't fear a pap smear, which is about SDSU students trying to destigmatize getting a pap smear by sharing their stories. Carolina hearts the post, tags her daughter, and then talks to her daughter on their weekly calls about the cervical cancer screenings available on campus. Based on the information given, she tells her daughter about other resources that are close to her daughter's work so she has more options to get a pap smear. And lastly, for our outcome goals, over time we will track how many SDSU public health undergraduate seniors receive pap smears at Cal Poly right now compared to that of the end of the 2022 spring semester. For our impact goals, we will survey SDSU's public health undergraduate students to find out if they know what a pap smear is and survey them again at the end of SDSU's spring 2019 semester.